Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the preview for the return of the Champions League. Tuesday night's match, the eagerly awaited game between Arsenal and Barcelona. I've been waiting for this match for so, so, so long. It's a game that I'm really looking forward to, but on the other hand, I'm really nervous going into it because I know what Barcelona are capable of doing to us. Now, I could make this video devoted to how good Barcelona are. They're one of the best teams in the world, if not the best. For me, they've got the best attack currently in world football. One of the best attacks that I've seen of my generation when comparing it to the likes of Ronaldo, Rooney and Tevez. This current trio that Barcelona have got of Messi, Neymar and Suarez for me definitely goes down as the best in the past 15, 20 years. If not, like I say, possibly the best in footballing history. It's such a lethal attack. The way these players play together, work as a unit, the interlinking front three that they've got, really exciting to watch and has proved to be absolutely outstanding this season. But like I say, I won't ramble on about them too much and how good of a team Barcelona are. Yes, we do go into this game as massive underdogs. We are expected to bow out of the tournament to Barcelona. And you know what, my expectation, my reality, for this game over the course of two legs is that yes we probably will go out of the tournament but that's not to say that we can't do something impossible and we can't beat this Barcelona side they've got a defence that I definitely feel can be got at they're a side that have such amazing talents up top that possibly their defence is overlooked by the manager and I do feel that we can get a couple of goals against this Barcelona side in fact I'd actually be very surprised if we didn't get a couple of goals against this Barcelona team now, attacking options that we've got going up top, we saw Danny Welbeck come into the side against Hull City. He had a fantastic game for me, playing in that kind of striking, playing out on the right-hand side kind of rifle. He interlinked really well with the likes of Theo Walcott. And that one position which I think we've got to get nailed down and bang on going into this game, we've got to get it just right on that right-hand side has to be who starts there. We've got a couple of options. Joel Campbell, first of all, I don't think he was entirely convincing against Hull City. Um, then you've got players like Oxlade Chamberlain, Danny Welbeck and Phil Walcott. It may come to the surprise of some people, but I do actually want to see Danny Welbeck start this game so soon after returning from his injury. Personally, I don't think he will start the game, but he'd be a fantastic outlet for us if he was to start on this right-hand side of the pitch. I'm kind of inclined to believe that Wenger may play Oxlade Chamberlain in this game as he was rested against Hull City and Danny Welbeck was given the start in that game. But Welbeck looks so fit, looks so match sharp in that game was taken off with about half an hour to go I'd love to see him start this match one thing with Welbeck is he's going to keep the ball he's going to be in a fantastic option up top and he drives out of the defence which I think we're going to need in this game Chamberlain is very prone to losing the ball yes he has been in good form his passing ability is seriously questionable Joel Campbell I don't think he's playing on too much confidence has been left out of the team recently wasn't all that brilliant against Hull City Fia Walcott again I don't think he was outstanding against Hull City and we need players that are playing on confidence that are going out there with a point to prove Welbeck for me is the man to start on that right hand and flank. Now regarding the rest of the team, I think it's pretty much obvious what the team lineup is going to be. My lineup for this game would be Petr Cech in goal, Hector Bellerin right back, Per Mertzaka, Lauren Koscielny, Nacho Monreal, Francis Coughlin, Aaron Ramsey, Danny Welbeck, Meza Ozil, Alexis Sanchez and Olivier Giroud. I do honestly believe that we will struggle to keep a clean sheet at home. Although we did it against Bayern Munich, this current Barcelona side is a different kettle of fish that Bayern Munich side. This is one of the best teams in world football and when you've got someone like Mertzaka in defence coming up against Messi, Suarez, Neymar, I think it would be really hard for him to cope in this game. Although saying that, he did really prove a point in the home leg against Bayern Munich and I would hope that he'd be able to do something similar in this game. Let's not underestimate Mertzaka it is unlikely that Gabriel will start this game, but for me, Mertzak can come in, can do a job, can rise to the occasion. I'm just hoping he does that. He's an exposed, a big game for Laurent Koscielny as well. And generally, it's a big game for every single player in the team. One player that I'm going to be keeping a close eye on is Francis Coughlin. He did really well against Bayern Munich at home. And again, it's another test for him in which to make his name on the world stage. So a huge game for Francis Coughlin. But it's a huge game for anyone that goes out there on Tuesday night representing Arsenal. I'm just hoping that we don't get embarrassed, we don't get humiliated and... Most of all, I do hope we can put in a performance that we are proud of as Arsenal fans and we leave the game with our heads held high with a glimmer of hope that we can do something special this season, possibly in the Champions League. But my score prediction for this game is going to be, I'll be optimistic, I'll say 2-1 to the Arsenal, same as it was a couple of years ago. We can go to the Camp Nou and uh, play our hearts out and hopefully progress to the next round of the Champions League. But it's going to be a massive game. Really looking forward to Tuesday night, seeing how we get on. Massive game for Alexis Sanchez, Moza Ozil playing against former teammates in La Liga. And uh, yeah... Get your team lineups in the comments box below. Please do let me know your score predictions, your thoughts heading into this game, which is going to be absolutely monumental. Really looking forward to it. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you are new to the channel. Like this video if you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll be speaking to you very, very soon. A little bit better than my seat, I will admit. Now you see for me, this is, for me, one of the highlights of the tour. You see this? This is a gold Premier League trophy. You will not go to any other ground in the Premier League. Not Man United. Not Chelsea, not City, not any of those grounds and CVs because this is unique to Arsenal.